एंड वेलकम आई थिंक सिनेमा मूवीज एंड मैजिक हैव ऑलवेज बिन क्लोजली एसोसिएटेड द वेरी अर्लीस्ट पीपल हु मेड फिल्म वर मैजिशियंस said Francis Ford Coppola and I agree I'm Atika Faruqi who loves to celebrate good cinema and today this episode has the right mix of hollywood as well as hindi content and it also puts the spotlight on the golden achievements of indian movies and a bit of jazz yeah so let's start now showing with the highlights Shaitan digs deep into the world of occult sciences with some promising performances by R Madhavan, Ajay Devgan and Jyotika. Anatomy of a Fall this year's Oscar nominee is a profound and thought-provoking cinematic masterpiece, skillfully exploring the complexities of human relationships and the search for truth. In the run up to the Oscars here is a vivid description of the day when Lagan was announced as the Indian entry for the Oscar nominations would you like to know all the events that unfolded that day from the assistant director herself and nation's current viral sensation just talks about his new and viral song chor This week's box office release Shaitan is a taut thriller with an exciting cast and performances. However, the narrative requires viewers discretion. Shaitan revolves around a timeless tale of the battle between the good and the evil within a family here. Directed by Vikas Behel, the movie features a stellar cast including Ajay Devgan, R Madhavan, Janaki Bodiwala and Jyotika. This cinematic piece promises to delve into the complexities of morality and the eternal struggle between the light and the darkness. Shaitan is a supernatural thriller that takes audiences on a suspenseful journey into the lives of a seemingly perfect family. The film is a remake of the acclaimed Gujarati movie Vash. Set against the backdrop of a picturesque farmhouse, the story unfolds as a stranger named Vanraj Kashyap, played by R. Madhavan, enters the lives of Kabir, played by Ajay Devgan, Jyoti, played by Jyotika, and their children, Janvi, played by Janaki Bodiwala. and Dhruv played by Angad Raja as the family struggles to understand Vanraj's dark secret and motive the film delves into the mystery behind this power over Janvi with each twist and turn the tension mounts leaving viewers on the edge of their seats will the family uncover the truth and break free from Vanraj's control these gripping questions drive the narrative keeping the audiences guessing until the final chilling moment shaitan is a film with powerful performances and a gripping storyline that will captivate audiences it features an intriguing plot and a talented ensemble however it's important to note that the film includes elements of black magic and supernatural the portrayal of these elements is not intended to endorse or promote any related beliefs or practices but viewer discretion is advised especially for those sensitive to such content vikas behel demonstrates a skillful touch in shaitan Behel's skill is evident in his ability to captivate and intrigue the audience a challenging feat given the limited setting of primarily one house and a small cast the film's success lies in its ability to consistently engage viewers with eye flinching scenes gripping drama and a haunting musical score by amit trivedi the edge of the seat thrills keep audiences guessing and engrossed throughout Standout performances by Janaki Bodiwala as Janvi and R Madhavan elevate the screenplay, making Shaitan a compelling and immersive cinematic experience. The film's brilliance also lies in its nuanced details, which deserve appreciation. These include the thrilling moments such as the tension surrounding Janvi's decision to ignite the gas with a matchbox. Despite its potential, Shaitan falls short of being an excellent supernatural thriller. While the first half is engaging, it's the second half that disappoints often, descending into a confusing climax. Shaitan is a film that masterfully immerses its viewers in a world of craziness and darkness, pushing their imagination to the limits. The plot thickly laid with intrigue and suspense hints at a complex web of secrets and lies that unfold as the story progresses. <laughs> And here is my recommendation for the weekend Anatomy of a Fall. Well Anatomy of a Fall is a 2023 French legal drama film helped by director Justin Triet and co-written with Arthur Harari emerged 
triumphant at the esteemed 76th Cannes Film Festival. Premiering on May 21st, 2023, the film captivated audiences and the critics alike, securing the prestigious Palme d'Or as well as the Palme Dog Award, while also vying for the esteemed Queer Palm. The narrative of this film offers viewers a captivating journey through the intricate layers of human relationships, exploring the depths of marriage, betrayal and the complexities of truth. Set against the stunning backdrop of the French Alps, the film opens with the mysterious death of Samuel, an aspiring writer and the subsequent suspicion that falls upon his accomplished novelist wife Sandra, played by compelling stoicism by Sandra Hewler. As the narrative unfolds, Triad skillfully navigates throughout the labyrinth of emotions that characterize Sandra and Samuel's tumultuous partnership. Sandra, a successful German author, finds herself grappling with the challenges of her husband's career setbacks and the disruptive renovations to their chalet, which threaten to overshadow her own professional pursuits. Against this backdrop of tension and uncertainty, tragedy strikes with Samuel's untimely demise, leaving Sandra entangled in a web of suspicion and doubt. Central to the film's narrative is the character of Daniel. Sandra and Samuel's son, whose blindness adds another layer of complexity to the unfolding drama. Daniel's inability to witness events directly introduces an element of uncertainty, casting doubt on the reliability of his testimony and deepening the mystery surrounding Samuel's death. Triad expertly weaves Daniel's perspective into the fabric of the story, exploring the nuances of his relationship with his parents and the impact of past traumas on their family dynamic. As Sandra navigates the murky waters of suspicion and accusations, she finds herself seeking solace and legal counsel from a friend whose feelings for her blur the lines between professional duty and personal affection. The tension between Sandra and her legal advisor adds an additional layer of intrigue to the film, further complicating the already intricate web of relationships at play here. Throughout Anatomy of a Fall, Triad's direction remains steadfast in its commitment to exploring the complexities of human emotion and the elusive nature of truth. Sandra Hewler delivers a tour de force performance, her subtle gestures and nuanced expressions conveying a depth of emotion that resonates long after the credits roll. Supporting performances from Swan Arlord as Vincent and Milo Machado Grana as Daniel further enrich the film's tapestry, offering compelling insights into the fragility of human connection and the search for meaning in the face of uncertainty. Technically, the film is a marvel, with cinematographer Simon Biofel's use of natural light creating a sense of intimacy that draws viewers into Sandra's emotional journey. While some may find the film's pacing slow at times, Anatomy of a Fall ultimately rewards patient viewers with its profound exploration of the human condition and the moral ambiguity that defines our most intimate relationships. By eschewing simplistic resolutions in favour of nuance and complexities, Triad has crafted a cinematic masterpiece that demands to be seen and savoured. In the end, Anatomy of a Fall stands as a triumph of modern filmmaking, a poignant and thought-provoking meditation on the nature of love, loss and the elusive quest for truth. The world is gearing up for the Oscar Awards to be held on March 11th at the Dolby Theatre in Hollywood, Los Angeles this year. India is proudly on the world map with Oscar already with us with two Emmy Awards this year and one Grammy as well. I'm very hopeful that this year too, the documentary to kill a tiger by Canadian of Indian origin, Nisha Pahuja, Cornelia Principe and David Oppenheim will receive its deserving accolade. Aim into that. This is a special moment as we reminisce about what happened back in 2002 when Ashutosh Guwarikar and Amir Khan's national award winning film Lagan was nominated in the best foreign language film category at the Oscars. Not just this, the making of it also shot by Satyajit Bhatkal which he had done over a period of three years got the national award. Here is Kiran Rao 
recounting her experience as the then assistant director on the film and what all happened after the announcement came. Here it is. Uh, one film that changed my life actually very in very real terms, not even metaphorically was Lagan. It was the first film I worked on and it changed my view of the film industry. It changed my idea of how uh, we can uh, we can make tell stories because it was such an unusual story to tell and it really set the bar very high for me not just artistically but as a member of a unit how I would how I could operate and how films could be made so yeah it totally changed my life and view of the world I think one of the days on set that we'll all truly remember is the day that we had 10,000 extras for the cricket match. Mm. Uh, we had a five camera setup and we were only four ADs. So it was incredibly difficult. Trucks of people were coming from all across the countryside of Kutch. And uh, managing that day was <laughs> absolutely crazy. It would be good to watch Madness in the Desert, the documentary on the making of Lagan, to see how that actually happened. We were all dressed as village people with safas so that we could blend into the crowd with our uh, AD headphones inside the you know pagris, but uh, it was it was very exciting and it really taught me about the uh, kind of power of functioning as one unit, taking commands, making like these huge things happen. It taught me how to handle scale, uh, and it also taught me how every little cog in the wheel is important. As an AD, I was what was called a second second, which was that I had to take actors through hair, makeup and wardrobe. And uh, while that sounds simple enough, it just happened that we were doing a period film with two cricket teams and several hundred village people uh, also as speaking cast. So I, I, on an average day, would have to get up at 3.30 or 4 in the morning, be on set by 4.30 because the sun would, we had to shoot, we had shorter days, we were shooting winter and up until summer, but had to shoot literally by 6.30 and everybody had a wig and, you know, beard had, that had to be stuck on and the period costumes. So it took hours in hair, makeup and wardrobe. So yeah, I was on set at like 4.30 or something and then shoot call was 6.30. Uh, when the Oscar nomination came, Amir actually called me. He, uh, we were, when the nomination actually happened, he also called when we were on the shortlist. But uh, I remember he was in a car with Anil Mehta who was the DOP and Ashu who was the uh, who's the director of the film and all three of them were on the call and uh, they were like can you believe it we are we are nominated and honestly I just I don't remember where I was but I was like it was such a crazy journey to have uh, seen this film be made and then be nominated because I had seen a four hour cut of the film mm -hmm. without the cricket so how they firstly brought it down to 342 and then it became nominated was just incredible I was so happy to hear that. And here is a short throwback chat with Tiger Shroff as he turns 34 last week. And we chat about his career, his years growing up in the film industry and of course what it takes to be Jackie Shroff's son. And we wish him a belated happy birthday. So, uh, Tiger, tell me, 2014 you started and you have become like this huge thing. A precious thing at the box office Thank and you. for the industry as Thank well. You. Thank you. How do you gather this whole situation which is overwhelming, overpowering? I don't believe I'm like that. because I'm, you know, I'm forever, I'm a very, I'm a lot of, you know, I, 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 I have a lot of knowledge. I want to learn, I want to continuously learn. And I feel like I haven't learned anything as of yet. Tiger, you are surrounded by this whole coterie of people. That's how industry works. They tell you some special things. An image building is a thing. The connect with the world sometimes gets away. How do you do reality check? I'm very anti-social. And I simplify my life very simply. In that, you know, I just, for me, it's work, home, sleep. Work, home, sleep. So, I don't have much of this. You know, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not much into partying. I'm not much into, you know, they say you should go and meet people and socialize. Mm -hmm. But I can't do that because I'm very awkward at uh, these social gatherings. So, this is a very good actor that he can't socialize. I try to answer the question from the work. You know, 
ज़्यादा बोलता नहीं हूँ पर कोशिश करता हूँ काम से जवाब देने के लिए लाइक आई सेड या आई आई वॉन्ट माई वर्क टू स्पीक आई आई वॉन्ट टू डू गुड वर्क आई वॉन्ट टू टच एज मैनी पीपल एज पॉसिबल थ्रू माई मूवीज एंड या बम्बैया हिंदी बोलते हैं आप डैडी की तरह डैडी की तरह उन्हीं का बेटा हूँ मैं तो या अच्छा विद योर फादर टाइगर ही कम्स विद फोर्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन दिस इंडस्ट्री यस failures losses success glamour everything your mother was a producer is a producer herself a very accomplished woman smart woman ghar mein baat cheet kya hoti hai you know afsos ki baat hai uh, par uh, zyada mauka nahi milta hai uh, waqt bitane ke liye ek dusre ke sath ha to uh, you know it's uh, it's always on the go acha so i briefly see my parents in the morning before leaving for work but uh, jab bhi mauka milta hai we go out for lunch or dinner Mm-hmm. But it, it's been a while. But uh, we always talk about your how's work going. They always ask me, so how's how was shoot today? What did you do? This that. I jan bujkar jitna ho sake koshish karta hu to just keep them away from my career because every time they see my films, I want them to be pleasantly surprised. Acha. And feel like you know, ki yar we didn't expect this, we didn't expect that. Hmm. So, that's my goal. ये तो बड़ा पुराना सवाल हो गया कि आपने अपने फादर से क्या सीखा? Tell me, आपने जैकी श्रॉफ जी से क्या नहीं सीखा वाह दैट्स अ गुड क्वेश्चन आई आई वॉट हैव आई नॉट लर्न फ्रॉम डैड आई कैन नेवर बी एज कोल एंड एज बिंदास एज हिम इन यू नो सोशल गैदरिंग्स एंड ऑल मैं अपने आप को बहुत बंद करके रखता हूँ वो मतलब बहुत खुल के रहते सबके साथ बहुत बिंदास रहते सबके साथ एंड आई थिंक आई नेवर लर्न दैट फ्रॉम हिम यू नो द आर्ट ऑफ बीइंग बिंदास और uh, आपने अपनी माँ से क्या सीखा है वेरी शार्प सीखा है hmm. मेरी मॉम बहुत सिस्टमेटिक uh, बहुत ऑर्गेनाइज्ड है बहुत नीट क्लीन फ्रीक है hmm. तो यू नो लाइक हर शी हैज अ डिसिप्लिन इन दैट एंड आई गेस आई गॉट माई डिसिप्लिन फ्रॉम हर डांस फॉर्म्स जो आपको लगता है सबको जरूर सीखने चाहिए बॉलीवुड फ्री स्टाइल आई लाइक ब्रेक डांसिंग सो आई से ब्रेक डांसिंग आई थिंक दैट कवर्स क्वाइट अ फ्यू स्टाइल्स बॉलीवुड एंड बॉलीवुड के अंदर काफी स्टाइल्स आते हैं एज एन एक्टर एज अ परफॉर्मर हाउ डू यू डील विद एंड फाइट क्रिटिसिज्म वेल आई आई वेलकम क्रिटिसिज्म बिकॉज आई आई वॉन्ट ग्रोथ आई टोल्ड यू मैं आई एम वेरी हंग्री आई एम वेरी बहुत लालच है सीखने का बहुत लालच है Time for a break on the show. When we come back, we have viral singer just talking about his musical journey. And I tell you, his song "Kal Raat Mere Ghar Aaya Ek Chor." Oh my God! Once you hear it, you start singing it whole day. And those lines, "Le Ja Mujhe Jo Bhi Tera Hai." मेरा नाम भी ले जा मेरा काम भी ले जा मेरा राम भी ले जा मेरा शाम भी ले जा आई किड यू नॉट यू हैव टू वेट फॉर हिम टू सिंग दिस वन फॉर यू डोंट गो वे आफ्टर द ब्रेक हाय वेलकम बैक टू नाउ शोइंग आई मातिका फारूकी कल रात आया मेरे घर एक चोर आके Bola these lines you must have heard by now i am sure they are from the viral song titled chor which is huge on instagram these days and also on digital media up next we have noida based singer just just talking about his musical journey and breaking the internet with this song in conversation with my colleague vishal chatkara kalra आया मेरे घर एक चोर आके बोला
the latest viral sensation that the world is experiencing and enjoying. Do you remember the moment when you realized that everyone has sort of fallen in love with your song? Or how would you like to describe uh, watching your song exploding on Instagram? I have a sort of a way of life. I would say that I am a very neutral pers- per- I have a very neutral perspective towards things. So obviously, I'm happy that uh, there's uh, there's a lot of buzz around the song and people are liking the song and like it's been shared by so many people. But I am very calm about it and I'm watching it as an observer. So obviously, I'm happy, but it's it's like a very balanced sort of a neutral happiness that's tilting towards happiness and more sort like it's more centered around just being an observer to things and seeing how things are changing and you know evolving so that's my current state of mind do you think that real featuring madhuri dikshit really was a turning point or or it widened the reach of the song the madhuri dikshit real i mean what she did madhuri dikshit ji the real that she made that really made me emotional to be honest a, a lot of like people who have posted the song i think even other celebrities other, other popular actors like maybe sara ali khan and you know uh, mauni richa jadda uh, a lot of other people had earlier ayushman khurana had used the song in his story in his post so i think it's a result of a, a one thing leading to the other so i won't say this was like the pivotal moment but but i would say that when madhuri dikshit ji made that reel it really made me feel good so i cannot say from a perspective of the virality because i'm not really studying that to be honest kya kehna chahte the aap with your song chor maine ek cheez observe kari hai ki aisi jo cheeze zinda rahi hai bahut waqt tak wo tab zinda rehti hai koi cheez jab usko sunne wala apna bana leta hai wo writers ke haath se nikal ke sunne wale ka gana ban jata hai aur wo jab sunne wale ka gana banta hai to uske liye apna matlab hona bahut zaruri hai अगर अगर मैंने इस क्षण पे बता दिया कि मैंने ये सोच के लिखा था या फिर मैंने मेरे लिए गाने का ये मतलब है तो गाना बहुत सीमित हो जाता है बहुत लिमिटेड हो जाता है तो जब मैं वो अवेयरनेस रखता हूँ तो मेरे लिए बहुत जरूरी हो जाता है अपना मतलब ना देना जैसे आप जानते हो कि अभी भी यूट्यूब और इंस्टाग्राम में पचास से सौ इंटरप्रिटेशन चल रही है गाने की डिस्कशन हो रही है कि गाना का मतलब ये है चोर का मतलब ये मेरी जीत भी ले जा मेरी हार भी ले जा मेरा डर This is not just a song. Actually, it's prose. It's poetry. It's a full arc of emotions, and I love the line. Le ja tu, jo bhi mera hai, kar de mujhe azad. Hi, azad. I remember a beautiful quote. What you own begins to own you. So belong to no one. Belong to nothing. Belong only to your soul. Alas. I wish we could adopt that in real life par dil ke behlane ko ghalib ye khayal to acha hai yeah i'm atika faruqi saying goodbye see you next week till then you take good care of yourself and we will definitely meet again very soon bye <laughs>